the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, the best budget tablet of 2020. Hear me out. What's up YouTube, Mike here with another video. And as I mentioned in my intro, I wanted to talk about the Samsung Tab S6 Lite. Now, what is so special about this tablet is not necessarily the specs or the performance, it is the price. Right now you can get this thing, depending on where you go, anywhere from, I don't know, about 175 to probably 250. Now this is the 64 gigabyte variant and this is called Oxford Blue. There's two other color options you can get, but I will put an affiliate link in the description where you can check this out on Amazon. But again, this is the 64 gigabyte variant that I have. And the interesting thing about this tablet is, again, the price, but also the performance. So the story of this tablet is good enough. So everything on it is good enough. It's not off the charts, spectacular specs, but they're good enough. So start with the specs of this thing. Like I said, they're good enough. It's got about four gigabytes of RAM. It's got an Exynos processor. It's got a, a TFT panel. So you're not breaking any records with anything, but again, it's all good enough. So, so far the performance has been really good. And the bonus with this is you get, of course, Samsung's S Pen. So you get the full integration of the S Pen and it comes in the box and it just magnetizes to the side. So again, with the specs, like I said, they're good enough. They're nothing to write home about, but the performance is really solid with this. So moving on to the build quality of this thing, as you can see, um, it's nice. Like this is honestly, as far as the color, this is my favorite color that I think I've seen on a tablet um, to date. So I think this blue looks really good. I'm not sure how it'll show up on the camera. Um, I'll try and show you a close up, but it's a really nice looking blue and it's just really high quality. So along with that, um, it's kind of hard to showcase it because I could literally only find one case on Amazon that actually is see-through. Um, again, I'll put an affiliate link, but this is a, uh, I think it's made by Rinky. I'm not sure, but it, I like this case because again, it's got a place to hold the S Pen so you don't lose it in your bag. Um, but it is the literally the only option that I could find that is actually see-through so you can still see the color. Now, this obviously doesn't have a kickstand, so I'll throw another link in there. Um, this is the Spigen case. It's got a kickstand. Really nice case, really protective, um, and it holds the S Pen. But back to the device itself, like I said, this is a very snappy device. I've had no issues with it. Uh, multitasking works well. You've got the full S Pen integration. And, and along with that, this is running the latest version of Android, and it's uh, running Samsung's own uh, One UI. But again, the cool thing I like about this is again, you've got uh, where you can set up app pairs, you can use the S Pen and it works well, it's snappy, no issues. Um, this is gonna be a great tablet when it comes to taking notes. So if you're a student, you wanna sketch, you wanna draw, take notes, this thing is definitely the way to go. And as far as uh, the battery, which I forgot to mention is probably the only spec on this device where it's not good enough, it's actually really great. So easily with this thing, you can get eight hours of uh, screen on time, easy. I mean, the battery on this, it just sips the battery because again, it's not an AMOLED display, but it's bright enough, good enough, which again is the theme of this device. But for the money, honestly, I think this is the best tablet you can get right now in 2020. So. With Black Friday coming up soon, I think this is going to even go lower. So you may be able to get this thing for about 150 if you keep watching it. But like I mentioned, um, bright, vibrant display. I do recommend though that you get a matte screen protector, which I had one on here and I took it off for the purpose of this video. Because as you can see, like any display, it's going to be reflective um, without that matte screen protector. And it also gives the S Pen a little more grip. But again, this is just going to be a, a quick short video just because, again, um, I've been using this for over a month now. Um, I actually was using the um, Tab S7 Plus, which cost a fortune compared to this thing. And I found that I wanted to use this more uh, just because of the form factor. It's more compact. It's not as heavy. 
Um, and the performance, to be honest with you, um, is good. It's not a 120 hertz display or anything like that. Like I said, it's a TFT panel. It's about 60 hertz, um, but it gets really bright, um, so it's easy to see in bright sunlight. So no complaints, no issues with the display at all. So um, really, like I said, this is just a budget tablet. It reminds me a lot of the Galaxy Tab A10.1 with S Pen that came out a few years ago. I did multiple videos on that, and this is really, to me, an improvement of that. And this has actually got a cheaper starting price than that did. I remember when that came out, it was about 250 bucks. I thought that was a great deal. But again, this one, 64 gigabyte model with the ability to put in an SD card, you can get this thing easily for 200 bucks or less. So you just have to search the deals. Like I said, I'll put the most current Amazon price in the description and you're welcome to check it out. But that was kind of down and dirty. I know I didn't demo a whole lot of this thing. Um, I'll show some B-roll while I'm rambling, but just a great tablet. I mean, it's small bezels, fantastic build quality, um, definitely an aluminum body. Um, it's light, great battery, it just looks good, and it does what it's supposed to. So again, it's the theme of this tablet is it's good enough. So some departments, it's great, some it's just good enough, but I've really experienced no slowdowns. I mean, occasionally if you're multitasking, um, you might see a quick lag, maybe a half a second, but that's it. So performance, again, has been great. I actually uh, played with Kind Master Pro, Edited a, edited a couple 4K videos and it actually worked. Now the export times took a while, but you can you can do it. But within Kind Master, it performed just fine. So again, that was quick, down and dirty. So if you have any questions on this tablet at all or anything specifically you want to see, I can try and crank out another video with that specific question in mind. Um, but that's it. Like I said, if you are shopping. For yourself or a loved one for this Christmas season, you can't beat the price of this thing, and it's just a great performer. So with that, as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do so. Thanks.